Hello everybody, welcome to Don Amots on this beautiful sunny day. My name's Adam and today I've got for you an Auto Trail, Auto Trail sorry, Tracker RB to 2017 2.3 150 brake horsepower automatic and it's covered just under 16,000 miles. It's 15,900 and something. Um, so let's have a look around and see what we've got. This one is two traveling, it's four sleeping. We've got transverse island bed, separate shower, loads of storage. Um, and loads of nice features on this one. As I mentioned, when you just point it there, 2.3 150 brake horsepower. We've got a drain off point down there and your electrical hookup point just there. We have locker storage in there. Um, moving further around, we've got the water fill point um, just there and you've got a shower point as well. Um, round onto the back, reverse camera. We can see up there in the housing for the spare wheel. Round onto the passenger side, it is very bright, so apologies yeah. for that, but we'll make the most of the British summer. <laughs> we have a barbecue point just there. Storage, this is underneath your island bed inside. It's transverse, which means it goes across the van rather than down towards the front. So you'll see that again from the inside shortly. Vent for your Truma heating, your toilet cassette, it's just in there. Fridge and freezer vent and right at the top you can see we've got full length dual awning, wind out canopy, all the way along awning lights and your gas locker just here. There we go. Fuel points just there and then before we go in you'll notice we've got the electrical entrance step on the door. We have your auto trail umbrella, which we definitely don't need today. <laughs> We've got your fly screen and your blinds and bin as well. So I'll let Wendy jump in first. We'll go down towards the cab. So you've got your two captain's chairs, your nice lounge area. Down into the cab, we've got your automatic gearbox that I mentioned. We've got sat nav, we've got cab air conditioning. Um, we've got all your steering wheel controls, USB points, 12 volts everything you'd expect to see, electric windows, electric mirrors, and we have cab blinds on both the doors and your windscreen as well. Just above Wendy, you'll see the drop down TV. So it points nicely at the lounge area. Yep. And then into the lounge area, we've got loads, so many locker space all the way around the van, all your books and everything in there and your control units in there but every other locker that you can see all the way around, all that is storage, storage and more storage. You've got your boom table and then you can access underneath as well. There's more storage under that side and the same on that side. That is completely empty under there, so it's all storage. And these does pull together to meet in the middle to make a double bed. Mm -hmm. So you use the cushions, drop them down, really simple. So if you've got any guests staying with you, there's plenty of space for them to stay. Moving down the van, you've got your control panels first. So as I mentioned, you've got your Truma heating, which is your blown air heating system. The main control panel to turn your van on and off. A couple of light switches, shelving, mirror, and that's the button for your electric step. Just goes in and out like so. Um, over onto this side, we've got your kitchen. So you've got plug sockets, light switches, um, all on there. Nice big sink with draining option as well. Storage up above. And we've got your microwave there. Oven, we've got three ring gas hob and one electric plate, which everybody likes. Separate grill and separate oven as well. And we'd have one of these fancy cupboards where it swings around like that. You've got your cutlery yep. tray in there and all your storage for your pots and pans. Over onto this side here, we've got your full size fridge and freezer compartment. Get your ice lollies or everything in there today. Cold beer, oh, cold wine. not fish fingers no, today. No room for Richard's fish fingers. <laughs> We've got your freestanding table in there. So you can use that inside or outside the van. And we have further storage drawer. Just getting caught on the carpet just there. Yeah. Underneath, you can work that out. Um, and before we go through, you can see it does shut off from the back. So if you are staying in the main bedroom and you have got anyone in the front, it does close off. In we go. This door has two purposes. It kind of swings round to become your toilet door as well. 
So your shower cubicle is this side. Nice full size. Yep. Ventilation up there, and you do have a hanging rail just there. So if you've got any wet clothes, towels, anything like that, you can leave mm -hmm. them hanging. And then onto the other side, I'll let Wendy come yeah. through. So the door then closes off to the front, and then you have your toilet, your sink, mirror, loads of light coming through the skylight, and plenty of storage under the sink and to the side of it as well. Yep. Down into the bedroom is your transverse island bed that I mentioned. We've got loads of storage up above it. His and hers wardrobe either side with hanging rail. This side's got three drawers down there and there's a big storage compartment down the side of Wendy's as well. Over onto this side. You're gonna be fed up with me saying storage in a minute. <laughs> I don't even think you can actually fill this motor yeah, it's it's got loads of room. Yeah. TV point just up here, so if you wanted to add a TV, you've got plug socket aerial, um, 12 volt there as well more storage either side there and underneath and then your bed it does just lift up as i mentioned outside he says hold on we'll get caught a second slide down Quite a technical glitch okay that there does is, lift up there is storage and that's the locker that we saw from outside but your bed pulls and slides back in as well um, so in the daytime you can access around easily and on a night time you just pull it towards me like i just did then drops down and gives you plenty of room for sleeping as well. So it's just arrived with us here at Don Amots. If you've got any questions or any inquiries, give me a call. My name's Adam, more than happy to help along with all the sales team here. Thank you.